I never used to be afraid of the dark, but that all changed after my worst nightmare became a reality. It started as just a typical dream. I was lost in a dark and twisting maze with no way out. But as I turned a corner, I saw something that still haunts me to this day. A figure shrouded in darkness, its eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. And then it started to chase me. I woke up in a cold sweat, heart pounding, but relieved that it was just a dream. But then it started happening every night. The same figure, the same chase, the same feeling of absolute terror. I tried everything to escape the dream. Sleeping during the day, drinking warm milk before bed, even taking sleeping pills, but nothing worked. And then one night, the figure appeared in my room. I saw it standing at the foot of my bed, its glowing eyes fixed on me. I tried to scream, but no sound escaped my lips. I was paralyzed with fear, unable to move or look away. And then, it started to speak. Its voice was like nothing I had ever heard before. A mixture of whispers, hisses, and screams. It told me that I was trapped in its realm, that I would never escape its grasp. And then, it reached out a hand and touched me. I woke up again, this time in a hospital room. I had been in a coma for three weeks, the doctors told me. They had found me in my room, unconscious and muttering about a nightmare. I was relieved to be awake, but the memory of that figure still haunted me. I started to see it everywhere, in the shadows, in the corners of my eyes. And then, one night, it returned. It spoke to me again, telling me that it was not a dream, that it was real, and that it was coming for me. I was consumed by fear, unable to sleep or leave my house. I felt like I was losing my mind. And then one night, it appeared in front of me. It reached out a hand, and I could feel its cold touch on my skin. And that was the last thing I remembered before waking up in the hospital again. The doctors told me that I had a mental breakdown, that I needed to rest and get better. But I know the truth, that the figure, the nightmare, is real, and it's still out there waiting for me. I try to stay awake, but eventually I always succumb to sleep. And then I am back in the maze, being chased by the figure. It's a never-ending cycle of terror, and I am powerless to escape it. This is my worst nightmare, and it's all too real. I am trapped, forever haunted by the figure in the darkness.